Hey everybody, it is Saturday and I am on a picnic with myself. I think it's a little date. It's a date with myself. I have um, my mom's picnic basket. Did a video on it the other night. And my water. I got a bag of Deep River salt and cracked uh, pepper chips. And I made myself some lunch. This is green beans, chickpeas, and apple. And I also brought a book to read. This is by Mitch Album, and it's for one more day. I've been trying to read um, a little more than I normally do. Put this tripod down. And I've read one book by Mitch Album, and I read it in 24 hours, maybe less. It was called Tuesdays with Maury. And it was a really good book, and I have a feeling that this will be a good book too. So I am under a very beautiful tree, as you can probably see. I'm not sure what it's called. I don't think it's a magnolia, maybe a dogwood. I don't know. But before I start my little time to myself, first let me say that it's as pretty as an area that this is that I found. It's kind of noisy. You get people um, cutting the grass and stuff. There are houses around and it is their house and it's a week and they can do what they want. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you about dating yourself. For a while, I used to just sit at home, not really moping, not really with a woe is me attitude, but wanting to date. You know, I've gone out on dates. I started dating, you know, different men and for whatever reason, it didn't, they wouldn't work out or, you know, found out things about these, the people that I was dating or the guys um, that wasn't good. You know, some, you know, it was just something on the side. But anyways, I'm too good for that. Everybody is too good for that. Don't ever become the other person. But it, that's not what I'm going to talk about. Um, then I realized that I can have fun with me. Just because I don't have someone in my life doesn't mean I can't pack myself a lunch and get a book or go out for the day shopping or go out to dinner. You don't have to have a partner to do that. Don't sit at home, what was me, waiting for a date jealous that everybody else has a partner and you don't. And this I also was saying um, that what is meant for you will find you. I don't know how much of that I hold true for myself because I've had my children I had my children young. I had my first when I was 17. And, you know, I have had relationships or, you know, failed relationships or whatever. And I'm a 55-year-old woman now by myself. My kids are grown. I live alone. Maybe what is for me is what is finding me now. Being alone solitude because I'm okay playing solitaire yeah it would be nice to have someone in my life I think but I'm finding happiness with myself I am going to have a nice day I'm going to have my lunch I'm going to read this book I'm going to sit under this beautiful tree I'm not gonna sit at home moping that no one's taking me out or I haven't found the right one. 
because what I am finding in my life, like I said, maybe this is what's for me. I'm not lonely. This isn't lonesome. A lady was walking by as I was setting up and she looked and she looked up at the tree and she said, and she saw me setting up, she said, that's really nice. And I said, I am on a picnic. And she gave me the thumbs up. And she looked at me and I said, I'm on a picnic with myself. And she said, even better. She said, you are your best company. And I think so. And I once had someone tell me that the reason why I can't find um, a guy is that I have an attitude of I'm Robin and I have an answer for everything or, you know, I can fix anything. And that might be so in a little bit or in a little ways. Because there's been times in my life where I had to know all the answers, where I had to be the one to figure things out. As a single parent leaving, you know, going off with my son, finding our own way. Um, yeah, I had to be the one with the answers. And maybe that built a strength within me, maybe an attitude or defense, but whatever, whatever. That's not anything bad. And also, I'm not gonna lessen my, lesser myself or weaken anything that has grown in me just to find somebody. I'm not gonna become weak or to seem needy, whatever. I don't have it all figured out. I don't know how to handle myself. But anyways, if you are at home and you're struggling with being alone, it's okay to go out on your own and do things. It's okay to go out to dinner by yourself. It's okay to set up what I have set up here and just enjoy yourself. You live one day at a time. Live in the moment. Celebrate you. You know what I did when I was getting ready for today? I put on a little makeup. I even painted my fingernails. I don't have glamorous, long acrylic nails. I have my own nails. I even painted my fingernails for this date with myself. I did my toenails too, same color. And tomorrow I'm gonna go out shopping on my own, alone that's what I like to do and that's okay. I really hope this lawnmower person isn't too loud in my in my video but whatever. They're enjoying themselves, right? So I encourage you if you're a single woman or a single man and you just can't find that one or if you believe that what is meant for you will come to you and if it's in the form of a partner, well, you can wait on that. But don't waste your time waiting too long. Find enjoyment in yourself. Find enjoyment in the peaceful solitude that is out there. These birds, this beautiful tree, my lunch that I made myself, the book, sounds like a good time to me. Anyways, let me get to this. Enjoy your weekend. Get out there and do something, even if you have to do it alone. Talk to you soon. Bye.